But first tonight, a former Baltimore City police officer is behind bars facing child sex charges for the third time. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager joins us now with the details of this latest offense. Jeff? Well, Kelly, the former officer, Troy G., lost his badge after allegedly molesting two girls a few years ago. And now police say he struck again. It was the dark secret buried inside the basement of this home in northeast Baltimore until a 13-year-old girl returned to her home out of state following the Christmas break and reported it. So we were notified actually by Child Protective Services, Jeff. The victim uh, complained to a school counselor, did the right thing, right? Contacted school authorities, those school authorities processed it over to the state who in turn notified Baltimore police. We investigated the case. Turns out again that the individual uh, had a prior history with law enforcement and he is currently facing charges. Tragically, the former cop, 36-year-old Troy G., also had a prior history of allegedly attacking young girls in his basement, but pled out to a second-degree assault charge in those cases. According to charging documents, the young girl this time was a relative who asked G. to help her establish a Wi-Fi connection on her laptop computer. Once he accompanied her to the basement, she claims he began molesting her, stopping short of penetration when she made a face. Afterwards, she told investigators he gave her a hug to prove they were still quote-unquote cool before acting like it never happened. What's terrifying for investigators is that oftentimes with this type of activity you see a repetitive nature. You see individuals reoffend, and uh, it's not, it doesn't come as a shock to law enforcement. What, what is um, helpful is that we have this individual off the streets. We're going to build the best case that we can through forensic evidence, victim, uh, su victim assistance and support, and we're going to put this individual away for a long time. We checked with Maryland Public Safety and Corrections, and G has never appeared on the sex offender registry. His plea agreement a few years ago spared him that, even though it may have come at the expense of yet another victim. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.